are you blessed welcome to the hallelujah the month of the anointing the anointing is the ability of god that is coming in your inability amen to make you a success amen remember problem are the ladder for you to go to another level amen every time when you face problem he show you about god is bring you to another realm amen never focus your problem focus to jesus the author and the finisher of your faith now the things that you deal tonight and that some, some things that you deal on sunday now hallelujah praise the lord in order for the anointing of god to flow in your life god the ability to function in your life number one God needs to reveal himself in your life as a consuming fire. Amen. Amen. God needs to reveal in your life as a consuming fire. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. If they are there, they can bless us. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. Hebrew chapter 12, verse 29. Hallelujah. God needs to reveal himself to you as a God of fire. Praise the Lord. I pray for you by the Spirit of God. You will never struggle in your life. If you are the one, can I hear a ladder? Amen. We are living in the world. Hallelujah. When you need the power of God. Because the Bible says it's not by mighty, it's not by power, it's by the Spirit Amen. of the living God. Yes. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 4 verse 24, it reads as follows. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire. A jealous God. Amen. For the Lord your God is a what? Is a consuming fire. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. John chapter 3 verse 3 to 8. Hallelujah. As Jesus spoke to Nicodemus. You will never see the kingdom of God until you are born again. The wind flow. You can't see it, but you can hear. It's the same way with the person that is born again. Because when you are born again, eh, the devil can't trick you. You know, when you are born again, the devil can throw problem in your life, but he can't trick you. Before anything happen, God will show you. Amen. I remember these things about happening in the church in Nigeria. God showed my mom a long time ago, and we speak to Pastor Sunday. So when he arrived, it's deja vu. Amen? Nothing to worry at all. Our God is a consuming fire. So, number one, God needs to reveal himself as a God of fire. One thing about fire is this. Not only God needs to reveal himself as a consuming fire, but a God wants you to make you a flaming of fire. He wants to make you a flaming fire. One of the things about fire is this. Number one, fire purify. The purpose of fire is to purify. The purpose of fire is to purify. To cleanse. To cleanse. When fire happens somewhere, it's purified. It's clean. It's burning certain things. Amen? Fire, you know, when you take a gold, in order for you to make a certain shape, you need to go through fire. Amen? I come to declare over your life. Anything that is connected to your life that is not from God, I remove it to the end in the name of Jesus. One of the things, worry of life, worry of these worlds, it can be an hindrance for you to see the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. self center it can be an hindrance for you to see the glory of God in your life. That's why the devil wants to put problem around you because the devil wants you to worry. And when you worry, hallelujah, Praise the Lord, you are losing the ability to dream again. When you start to worry, the energy and the strength to, to start all over again, it becomes impossible. But I come to declare, every assignment of the devil this season in your life, because of the fire of God, we are destroying that assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. The fire is there also, praise the Lord, to destroy, to consume, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. But fire becomes more dangerous when it connects, when it meets the wind. Bible shows us about in one side, you are a flaming of fire. Amen. It makes his servant the flaming of fire. 
Praise the Lord. But in another sight, praise the Lord, God says something. When you are born again, you are like a wind. So that means you are so dangerous. When the fire meets the wind, there are a few things that is happening. It becomes dangerous. Amen? Glory be to God. When the fire meets the wind, the fire can fly. Are you me, somebody? It can fly from one, it can fly from, from this side to the freeway, other side of the freeway. Praise the Lord. I remember when the fire was there on this mountain, they closed certain freeway. Because the fire had the ability when it meet the wind, he had the ability to fly. I come to declare over your life, any power that is trying to block you, by the power of God in your life, I declare, you will fly in the name of Jesus Christ. When they're waiting on the floor, you will fly. I can't tell you a lot. Amen. I declare by the Spirit of God, may you move from this level to a higher level in the name of Jesus Christ. You are unstoppable. You are dangerous. I can't hear you loud. Amen. You are powerful. Greater is the one that is in me. My journey with God is starts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God revealed himself in my life as a consuming fire. What shake other people is not shake me. What shake other people? What make other people cry is not make me cry. Because the fire of God changed my heart. Hallelujah. What shake other people can't shake me. I pray for you. You are unstoppable. You go higher. Number three, number three, we say this, hallelujah. The fire have the ability when it meets the wind, it have the ability to spread with speed. It have the ability to spread with speed. I come to declare over your life this September. I can't hear your ladder, amen. This September, I declare. People, they will look you. They will say, What happened in your life? Hallelujah. The God of fire. The God of fire. The God of fire. The God of fire appear in my life. And you make your spring. You spread. You spread with speed. People they look and say, you just start the business now. What happened? The fire in me. Friends, don't look at the people and you start to envy them. Oh, they already overtake me. God was busy preparing things in your life. Putting you a big, a good heart, big heart, heart of helping people. Sometimes you are at a place, you see people the way that they suffer. But you know, like that is not your life. Don't think about that is your life. No, it's not your life. God is teaching you a poverty when people they be reject. It's like what God is teaching us about Nigeria. We see how painful it is for a person to, to lose, hallelujah, his house. God teach me something I see Nigeria in another level. Compassion. Compassion. I said to Pastor Sandy, don't worry about anything. Hallelujah. Are you guys safe? I'm safe. I said, phone every member. Phone people in the area. They may move to another area, but let them know God loves them. God is in control. I can't tell you that they may. God is in control. You may take everything of me, but you can't take my Lord Jesus. I can't tell you that, amen. And if you can't take Jesus, you didn't take anything. I can't tell you that, amen. You know, sometimes you, you walk. You see some house. Sometimes I look, hallelujah, almost dead. That is a nice area here. After, hallelujah, hallelujah, who stuck? Up there. That, that day. Day. It's very cheap. Very cheap. Because... Some house that you can see is start by seven million. Even seven million to fund it, it will be by grace. Fourteen million. Oh my state. Google it. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. You know what God is teaching us? God is teaching us about you have a very big heart. If you have a very big heart, huh? God will help you. God allow you to go through things so that you can see how people suffer. I was there in Cape Town. I knew how to arrive six o'clock. You don't know if you eat here in South Africa. That when, when I hear lockdown, I know there are some people, no food. Let's organize something. I was there. I was there. God allow you to go through things. So that you may meet people. 
so that you may see life. So that God can give you a big heart, a heart of compassion. And that when God will elevate you, you want it alone. I can't pray for the food and I'm not praying for those that they don't have. Impossible. God, thank you for the food. As some people bless it. Remember those that they don't have. I have it. I have more. But there is some that they don't have. God is putting the heart of fire. Amen? A big heart in your life so that things you don't need to shake you. Don't look you now and think about you are finished. There is a glorious future in your life. I can't tell you a lot of amen. I say I can't tell you a lot of amen. You won't die in this level. God is teaching you compassion. I say God is teaching you compassion. If you are down, don't think about there is some people that are most hallelujah, better than you. God is teaching you compassion. The day that you learn the power of compassion, those will start to be open for you. I can't tell you a lot of amen. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God. So now, the impact of God fire in your life. Amen. Number one, the fire of God is there to purify you. God is a consuming fire. Amen. How God is purifies, is purifies through his word. John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them by your word. Is purify you through his word. Expose yourself to the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Expose yourself to the word. You will see life different. Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. God is purify you through his word. Hallelujah. He's give you the mindset of God through his word. Your future is guaranteed. Hallelujah. Remember bad job. He said one thing. He said, I know my redeem live it. It doesn't matter. My redeem live. Some people, they already overtake you. Don't worry. You will overtake. You will recover. Hallelujah. Those that they say you are nobody, tomorrow they will come to Greece. I see it if you like in this Hallelujah. I'm in this building for some time now. I see people that there was nobody to eat. They come for counseling. Pastor, he fill a plate to eat. No way. Amen. Amen. I remember one brother. He fill the rent was a challenge. I pray for him. The small one that I have. The brother was going. I said, brother, come. The small one that I have. But I'm not that brother today. That brother today is well balanced. There are some people they used to say, ah, that small boy. Those people not that beyond that person to beg the person for connection. Life can change. Don't look about you now. Look to God. Your life is not in the heart of people. Your life is not in the hand of people. Your life huh, is in the hand of God. Is in the heart of God. You are a book in the hand of God. Your life is made with chapter. All the chapter is not the same. Maybe you are in that chapter of training. Ooh, chapter of rejection. Don't allow it to pass too quick. God teach me what I need to know. So that when you are to the end, the last word, what you do? You turn the chapter. This September, a professor as an oracle of God. God is turning, hallelujah, a page of the book of your life. I see you moving from the level of struggle to the level of abundance. If you are the one, can I hear a lot? Amen. I see you moving to the level of rejection, to the level of people who honor you. Are you happy? And the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. And the one thing about this, every time when there is a big breakthrough, big challenge will come first. I don't know why. You know what God is doing? God is teaching you to depend on him. Amen. There is big breakthrough that is coming. I know my secret is God. I know my redeem live. I can't tell you that. Amen. Amen. There are so many things that I know now. Eh? If I knew it before, oh my God, I could be far. But God teach me more life. I used to be that person that I used to trust people so quick. But now, 
Discernment is my key. I love everybody, but I don't trust everybody. Mm. You that you always like small one. Oh, I'm stable so and so place. That is my house. Come, come see my house. Because you just bought a new couch. Come see my house. Come see my house. I'm saying. <laughs> it's not everybody that they need to know who you stay. People are evil. You know, most of the people, when they come to break your house eh, and they steal everything, eh, they want, there is somebody that know you, know your move. You know your time. Maybe it's busy talking to you, but they're stealing. One of the area that I used to send Kenula before, the neighbor said to us, there was a, a story about the person that was there before us. During the day, somebody came with a truck, reverse, enter in the house, collect everything. The neighbor, she was looking, she said, like, ah, what do you think about the neighbor is moving, but they didn't tell us anything. But the thief, they were stealing in front of the face of the neighbor. Aye. So is the person that know like a, this neighbor is not talking to other neighbor. He know very well this. So when the person is coming, he enter the house is empty. They took the fridge, even the bread, everything, even the meat is gone. He enter. Ah, what happened? From one room to another room. You know there is some thief. Eh? They can even steal even your pap. <laughs> they are sitting there eating. Praise the Lord. Back home, there's those type of teeth. Because the what is waiting for you, you are taking long. You leave the pup there and uh, everything. But the, the teeth enter. He already still is sitting now. He start to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I come to declare over your life. May Jehovah overdo our protection. Friends, expose yourself to the word. Expose yourself to the word. You know, when you are exposed yourself to the word of God, eh? you'll be ahead of others. You'll be ahead of others. What shaker does it can't shake you? Can you put your hand on to bless your hand? I see money. Oh, glory be to God. I pray for you by the spirit of God. I claim it myself because I see it. I see it is happening. Glory be to God. I see it is happening. I claim it. Mama, you claim it. I claim it by the spirit of God. I declare by the spirit of God. That money that I see rich now, may Papa God give to you in the name of Jesus. Those property that I see now, may Jehovah overdo, I give it to you in the name of Jesus. I cancel the plan of the enemy. I cancel disappointment. May you become a flaming of fire. When witch and wizard, they will come during the night. They will never see you. They will see the lion of Judah. They will see the flaming of fire be God. In the name of Jesus, they consume in fire. Go with the grace of this house. Go and win. Go and dominate. Go and shine. In Jesus' mighty name. I bless you. You are unstoppable. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.